Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reassign MIDI controllers using the Learn function in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here where I've already created a synth. And it sounds like this. But I want to control it with some of the functions on my MIDI controller in a different way. For example, I don't really need the pitch bend or the modulation wheel for this particular sound. But I could use those to control other parameters in this plugin or this synth right over here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set that up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to turn off those controllers. So let's go to the input effects on this track right here. Not the track effects, the input effects. Because we want to filter out those controllers on the way in. So click right here. Then we'll search MIDI filter. There's a plugin right here called MIDI note filter. Let's double click it. Now this plugin is meant to filter out certain notes, low notes and high notes, but we could turn that off and just use it to filter out continuous controllers. So if this is set to no instead of yes, none of the continuous controllers on the MIDI keyboard are going to work. Watch. It ignores those controllers. So now we could use them for something else. Let's close the plugin and pick a parameter we want to work with. Let's start off simple with the volume. Just touch it so it's the last touched parameter. Then go to the menu here and go to MIDI link. Then we could choose which continuous controller we want to use. We could use the mod wheel, portamento, volume or even a pitch wheel. But an easier way to figure it out is to go right here to learn. And if we choose this, it opens up this dialog where we can move the controller on our keyboard, whether it be a knob, a fader, or a pitch wheel, or the modulation wheel. So let's move the pitch wheel. And then it shows up right here. So now if we hit OK and move the pitch wheel, on our keyboard, it's going to adjust the volume or the level right here. So I could play the keyboard and adjust the volume at the same time. and create any pattern that we want. And if we want to turn that off, just touch it again, go back here to learn, and remove that setting. Or we could change it to something else, like the mod wheel. So I'll move the mod wheel, and now that controller shows up here. So now if I move the modulation wheel, that now controls the volume. And again, to remove it, just touch it, go back to learn, and just remove it right here. Now let's try assigning something different, like the cutoff. Just touch it, choose learn, move the mod wheel. Now the cutoff frequency can be controlled by the mod wheel. Bye. 
Now let's try another one. Let's try using pan instead. Touch it. Learn. This time we'll use pitch bent. Again, it shows up here. And we'll see the panning change right here when I adjust the pitch bend on the MIDI controller. And if we want to get more creative with it, we can control two parameters at once. For example, right now we're hearing just one sound where the level is right here. So if I touch it and set this up to the mod wheel, we can control the level from the mod wheel. But we could add a second sound right over here. Let's choose an action pad, one down here called Trance. Let's turn the volume down on this one. Let's hear just that sound. Now a mod wheel only controls this one. But we could have both parameters controlled at the same time and control the blend by having them move in two different directions. So let's touch the second volume Instead of going to learn, let's go right here to parameter modulation MIDI link. And that opens up this dialog where we can link the parameters together. Just choose it here and find the first parameter right here. And it's going to be part A level or volume. So with that chosen, if I move the mod wheel, They both move together, but we could change the scale right here so they move in different directions. One will go up while the other goes down. Let's put it to this side. Let's offset it a bit because the second sound is a bit louder. So adjust for that. Let's hear what that sounds like as we move the modulation wheel up and down. <laughs> So with one controller, the modulation wheel in this situation can control both parameters in different directions. One goes up while the other goes down. So we could blend our sound and change it on the fly. And of course we could do this with any two parameters or even more. And it work with any plugin or instrument plugin in Reaper. Now if you want to record this, it's not going to record as continuous controller information. It's going to be automation instead. So let's close this. Let's record right over here. Let's first switch the automation mode so we can record the automation or the movement of the mod wheel. So we'll switch it to either right mode, latch mode, or touch. This way, as we record our notes, we're also recording the automation. In this case, the modulation wheel. But keep in mind, this will work with any controller or knob or fader on your MIDI controller. So let's try to record some notes in the modulation wheel at the same time. And just like that, we recorded the notes and the modulation wheel at the same time which recorded as automation. So we play it back. Let's see it on the plugin and watch the faders move in different directions. So that's pretty much it. 
That's reassigning the MIDI controllers using the learn function in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.